What we have here, amigos, is chunks of deer hindquarter. But what happens? Most of us don't do this. What I did is I bone the hindquarter. What do we do? We hang it up, we take the back strap out, and we typically deep fry it, which is great. Nothing wrong with deep fried back strap, I love it. But folks, there are so many other wonderful things we can do. So we'll take the chunks of the hindquarter, we'll bone the hindquarter with a good boning knife, which is also the great one to use to fillet sheep head. We'll bone it, and then we'll simply cut it into chunks, because what we're gonna do is make, believe it or not, Parkway Bakery, Mother's Restaurant style roast beef po' boys, except it's with venison. After that, we simply season these chunks of meat that are free from sinew, free from fat, and free from bone. Your favorite Cajun seasoning, you know? We're not hung up on that. I always like, because of my Cuban heritage, the adobo. I always add it. And so what do I do? I mix them up. I mix up the adobo with the local Cajun seasoning. Both of them are heavy on the garlic, which is very good. And then we will simply, we will take these chunks and put them in a pressure cooker, brown them, and pressure cook them for about 20, 25 minutes until the mate falls apart, flakes apart. We will flake the meat apart. We will thicken the gravy, which is heavy on sweet onion and fresh garlic. Thicken that gravy, we'll pour it on French bread, and it's like you're eating at Parkways, except it's the deer you shot that typically you made sausage out of. So we got it kind of sliced, semi-thin, about a inch, inch and a half each, and seasoned with Cajun seasoning, your favorite. And now we're gonna throw it into the pressure cooker, brown it, sear it. As always happens when you make a soup, we're gonna sear these chunks of venison, hind quarter, or fore quarter, or even back strap. We pretty much seared them in this pressure cooker in the mixture of olive oil and butter, heavy on olive oil. And now we throw in a lot of diced garlic and sweet onions. As a matter of fact, since the garlic is so important for New Orleans style, roast beef poor boy, roast Bambi poor boy in our case, we can add even more garlic. You know, so we're gonna sear these items, reduce these items down, preferably to where we get the onions caramelized. Good and reduced. A little bit of Worcestershire sauce, like the Three Stooges called it. Some wine, in my case, I like Marsala wine. Dry sherry is good. Dry sherry or marsala, in my experience, works very good for this dish. And we want to just barely cover the meat and the onions with water. So they're almost covered. Good. Now, you can do this in a crock pot, or you can do it in your basic skillet or your basic Dutch oven if you've got four hours, you know? And of course, a lot of us do on weekends at the camp. Hey man, put the beer, in, the deer smother with onions in the crock pot, smother with onions in the Dutch oven. And man, let's go out fish for a while. And when you come back, so you can do that, but we're doing the quickie version, which is why we use the pressure cooker. So we'll do it here, cover it up, get the pressure cooker rolling good and cook it for about 20 to 30 minutes. As mentioned, amigo, the pressure cooker has done its thing and reduced these gorgeous chunks of venison, hind quarter, or even fore quarter to roast beef size, hunks of wonderful onion and garlic imbued meat. But what we'll do is make them even more 
whole boil bowl. That's not a word that you find in a lot of cookbooks, but it's what we're going to do. And how do we do that? Because when you eat a po' boy in New Orleans style, so the meat has to be flaky and tender, where you just juice just runs down your chin. And that's what we're going to do right now. So we take that venison and we smash it up. Look how it flakes apart. Look how it flakes apart. I find that it's better to flake it apart in this manner and make roast beef po' boys, as we will see very shortly. Look at that. The meat's just flaking apart after being in a pressure cooker for 20, 25 minutes. You get the same procedure. You get the same effect if you put it in a crock pot for six hours or in a Dutch oven for four hours. But who's got the time for that nowadays? So what we'll do is put it back into the pot and proceed to thicken the gravy, which is such an important ingredient in a New Orleans style roast beef po' boy, isn't it? Now all we've got to do is thicken the gravy a bit, like we all do, with a little milk and some flour. But what I do, just to spice it up just a little bit, we add a little bit of that browning seasoning to it, just to make the po' boy a little bit prettier. A little browning seasoning and just a tad more of the Worcestershire sauce. Another dash of Marsala wine as this starts cooking, just for the heck of it. You can't have too much of that. Ooh, look at that gravy. Just look at that gravy. So we'll let that warm up just a little bit there. Okay, amigos, look as we've got the gravy right at about the right consistency for our Bambi Po' Boy Parkway Bakery style Po' Boys. Creole tomatoes, when they're available. Fortunately, we're making this when they are. And some pickles. You'll notice that I had the bread with mayonnaise on it already. You gotta have the mayonnaise. It adds to the juiciness. Bam! Is this a genuine New Orleans style pool boy? Let us see. It's a part of the deer that you probably have never considered to use in this manner. It's a part of the egg you typically use in form of sausage, and it gets freezer burned. Then you give it to hunters for the hungry and all this stuff. Well, you know something? The hunters that are hungry are me. They're sitting in this camp right now. And these hungry hunters are munching out on Bambi New Orleans style po' boys. 